so it's 14th of May we've had a couple of weeks of this utterly utterly depressing uh, election at this point things that we've learned there's been a leak at uh, Labour their manifesto has come out kind of everyone's trying to wank themselves into an early grave because of it there's some really nice things in there see when it actually comes out how it's costed because that's important you know it's we we have this issue uh, in this country and probably around the world where we do not look at anything we want everything just to be perfect for us instead of actually looking and thinking for ourselves we would much prefer just oh we've heard something nice well then that's all we need it could turn out that uh, Labour's manifesto is just too expensive it may turn out it's fantastic but we need to have a look through it stop treating like it's good versus evil everyone everyone is doing it for their reason and what you can keep on thinking that everyone's turning around and they just want to help you they don't they don't i mean we have to look at uh, ifs just had a look at their uh at labor's tuition fee who's it going to help most getting rid of it people are going to get the most money people who earn the most money that's it there isn't anything about uh changing the benefits or reversing or everything on there but it doesn't matter because everyone's so blind now over to the Tories the Tories are sticking with their strong and stable 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 because I've said it before everyone thinks you're stupid and you're just going to allow that no one allowed to ask questions Theresa May scared if someone has a pen but do not worry, our Facebook is going to save us. Our Twitter, these videos, are all going to save us. The UN recently came out uh, just a few days ago, uh, maybe a week ago, uh, with quite a damning report uh, on us, on how our government's been running, on the uh, amount of inequality in this country. Last year, uh, they said that uh, austerity was against uh, our international human rights commitments. That, that's what's been happening. The EU, uh, for uh, their uh, the uh, Court of Justice, recently found us guilty of breaking the clean water laws. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what more is required. But I'm, I'm trying not to force it down people's throats because I've been called uh, self-righteous at times, patronising at times. So, I mean, we get what we deserve in this world. We do get what we deserve. And I would argue that uh, when the Tory majority comes in, that is what we will deserve because we are not helping ourselves we don't help others our national pride seems to stop when it's no longer racist notice how our national pride never uh, is us going down to our local park picking up rubbish our national pride is attacking someone different our national pride yesterday uh, eurovision was saying oh how mad everyone is and how great we are and how it was political but we didn't win. If it was, maybe it was, you know. Maybe we're just not putting out the right songs that everyone wants, but probably owing to the fact that everyone just hates the UK. We give them reason to, though, don't we? We give them reason to. Yeah. I know this doesn't have the same cameras, the same gravitas as some of my others, but I just. I don't know what else there is, you know. Final thing. Judge recently said that uh, our government had to bring out their draft of uh, their air pollution report. 
government didn't want to do that because it's going to be damning and showing that our government is actually trying to kill us. Clean bill, uh, clean water bill shows that they're trying to cover us in shit. Air pollution shows that they are killing us. Maybe we deserve it though. Maybe we deserve death. 